Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we catch up with our coaches this week and a busy week for our baseball team and joining us is their head coach Brian Nabalski and Brian, a um, you know good weekend against Jimmy State, getting three of four, but then it amps up a little bit. UND today and tomorrow, and then Bellarmine on Saturday, but a nice way to start off the week, getting three of four. Yeah, I think anytime you have a long spring break trip, it's good to get out of the gate with a few wins, and we took care of business against Bemidji, taking three of four. I mean, by no means did I think we play our best baseball, but we found ways to win, and that's important for this group, and then... We got UND today and tomorrow, ranked 13th in the country. So we're going to find out really quick where, where we stand with this league. And, you know, once again, I think pitching-wise, this weekend and the highlight of the weekend had to be Ben Lovell, that two-hitter he threw on Saturday in game number two. Probably some of the best stuff we've seen out of him all spring. Yeah, Ben did a great job of throwing three pitches for his strikes. And, I mean, they had a lot of left-handed batters in their lineup, so we did a good job of keeping them off balance. And then if you look at Alec Harris, I mean – I think he throws all right, but he gets seven ground ball double plays, and that was the difference maker in the game Friday. And then offensively, you look at game two yesterday, we just hit the ball all over the place. And Dalton Schumer, I really think Dalton's starting to get where he needs to be. He hits two home runs. He's leading the team with six right now. Just a stellar weekend for him. Yeah, I think Dalton's been swinging the bat well all year. I know the results might not look like it, but it's what we preach is just finding the barrel. And he's been doing that all year, just running into bad luck. I mean, he's hit balls to the warning track all year long, and now – I think it's kind of warming up and the ball is starting to fly for him. But our offense is all based around the top of order, them getting on base, and then our big boppers doing their thing. You know, and I was just going to mention Drake Lubin, a great game in game number two yesterday, but he's been extremely solid at the top of the order, getting on base and then moving around because he's got such quick wheels. Yeah, I mean, he, he basically is our spark plug. I mean, he can drag for a hit, he can push for a hit, he can hit a double. He'll lead off the game with a walk, and the next thing you know, he's at second base. So kind of as he goes, we go as an offense. Right now we have him in the two-hole with Dom Conley and Cam Mercier leading off the leadoff spot. Just try to get uh, Drake hitting more guys on base in front of him. But he's definitely the spark plug. And I know you've been shuffling the lineup a little bit. We're still in non-conference play. Uh, you, Indy, and Bellarmine will be non-conference games, even though we're all part of the GLVC. But it's great to see some of the younger guys, you know, Dom Conley and those guys, getting some reps, getting some positive things going out in the field. Yeah, I think you need to know what you have before you get to conference play. I mean, yes, we want to win every game, but we got to know what we have, who can come off the bench, who's good in what scenario. So I think it's important for everyone to get in the game right now, and I think it was good for us yesterday to kind of blow up a midgey to get guys at bats that haven't got too many yet. No doubt about it. Now, UND and Bellarmine, even though they are non-conference, some big tests for us. I think this will give us a great look on where we are before we start conference play next week. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, like we said, UND is 13th in the country. I think Bellarmine's top 25. So I think it's important to play these games right before conference play because it's pretty much going to be championship baseball from here on out every weekend. Awesome stuff, buddy. We'll see you down at the field. Thanks, Jim. Brian Nabalski joins us, as he always does every week here on Saints Vision. And we'll have baseball today and tomorrow afternoon, nine-inning games against Uwindy. And then on Saturday, it'll be a doubleheader against Bellarmine. You'll be able to follow all the action via live stats on our, web, on our webpage, MaryvilleSaints.com. And then also, you can follow us on Twitter, at Maryville Saints. For Brian, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week. And as always, go Saints.